People flocking to area lakes this weekend. News 5's Caleb Perney shows us now how law enforcement stepping up to help those who are on the water stay safe. People are getting out on the lake, enjoying time with family over the Independence Day weekend. Law enforcement across the country are out in full force for Operation Dry Water, cracking down on boating impaired. Spent several hours out here, it makes you tired. Adding alcohol to that just puts a greater effect on your inability to think reasonably. Last year, there were nearly 500 boating while intoxicated arrests during the July 4th weekend. Since focused enforcement started a decade ago, those numbers have dropped, but alcohol is still the leading cause of boating deaths. It's not just about alcohol. Officers are also doing safety checks all weekend. One of the most common problems that officers see is also one of the most important things. You need to have proper safety equipment, a flotation device for every person on the boat. We do encourage actually everyone to wear them because there have been 12 boating fatalities already this year, boating related incidents. Um, which is the same number as the entire year last year. This family had everything they needed during a safety check, but many don't. More than 26,000 citations were issued last year during the campaign. Paid attention to your surroundings, always keeping your head on a swivel. It's what's going to keep you out of a lot of trouble and keep people safe. That is the goal, to make sure everyone enjoys the weekend and stays out of harm's way. Fourth of July, nothing like getting out on the lake with the family. Uh, nothing says summertime, like, you know, enjoying the, the holidays with, with the family and the crowd. In Washington County, Virginia, Caleb Perney, News 5 WCYB.